Hello, Accounting 203 students. This is Professor Hassey. One more time, week number nine, introduction video to our class this week. We're going to be studying break-even analysis, chapter 21 this week, finalizing our discussions about managerial accounting. We also be beginning our discussion of our examination review, which will be posted uh, this week and due on August the 16th. Remember, your paper is due next week as well. We're going to be talking about that. Any last-minute questions? And we'll set our timeline for the class. Our review session on Saturday is scheduled. Uh, our class next week, when your course evaluations will be due, and when the final grades will be posted, will be discussed this evening, tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. First, let's take a look at a short video about the break-even analysis. How to calculate the break-even point for your business. This break-even analysis video explains the break-even point in words, in graphs, and in formulas, and encourages you to take various actions in your business to improve profitability. A common definition of the break-even point is a sales volume where neither profit nor loss is made. An alternative way of saying the same thing, the break-even point is a sales volume where contribution margin dollars equals fixed cost dollars. Let's look at the break-even point on the graph. On the horizontal axis, the number of units sold. On the vertical axis, the total dollars. Contribution margin dollars go up for every unit sold. Contribution margin is revenue minus variable cost. What you sell the product for minus what it costs you to make an incremental unit. Fixed costs don't vary with the number of units sold. Typical examples of fixed costs are rent, depreciation, and research and development expenditures. The break-even point is right here, where the two lines intersect. Let's put some numbers to the example. If fixed costs are $200,000 and contribution margin is $4 per unit, then the business needs to sell 50,000 units to break even. If the business sells fewer than 50,000 units, the red area, the contribution margin is lower than fixed costs and the business is loss-making. If the business sells more than 50,000 units, the green area, the contribution margin is higher than fixed costs and the business makes a profit. Let's do the exact same break-even analysis, but in formulas. The break-even point is the sales volume where contribution margin dollars equals fixed cost dollars. That's the same as saying that the volume sold times the contribution margin per unit equals the fixed cost dollars. And that's the same as saying that the volume sold to break even is equal to the fixed cost dollars divided by the contribution margin per unit. And that's the same as saying that the volume sold to break even is equal to the fixed cost dollars divided by the selling price per unit minus the variable cost per unit. Let's fill in the numbers to illustrate. $200,000 of fixed costs. The business needs $200,000 in contribution margin to cover that $200,000 in fixed costs. At $4 contribution margin per unit, $10 selling price per unit minus $6 variable cost per unit, the volume sold needs to be 50,000 units. That's all very interesting, but what should a business owner do with this information? The first thing that comes to mind is to try to sell as many units as possible. Increase the volume sold. But that's not the only choice the business owner has. He or she can also work on reducing the fixed costs, increasing the price per unit, or reducing the variable cost per unit. Work on all these variables at the same time, and the break-even point becomes dynamic instead of static. Want to learn more about business, finance, accounting, and investing? Then subscribe to the Finance Storyteller YouTube. Okay, the break-even analysis, a very important tool in a business using financial accounting data to calculate managerial accounting information. We'll talk about that tomorrow night, Thursday, August 6th at 6 p.m. Look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. We're almost done, so hang in there. And I'll talk to you tomorrow evening. See you then. Bye-bye.